Hello, I'll teach you now how to integrate your learning design or your learning plan to Moodle. To begin, let's um, open Turn Editing on. And then once that's on, you can have the opportunity to edit your page. So you go to any of the topics, you create your module title, just a title. So you say module one, developing baking skills. You enter. Once that's entered, that's okay. You can add in this section here don't go to any of the sections only focus on one section and add an activity you will you can add two areas here two uh, sections an activity or a resource this time we will add an activity and that is your lesson guide okay the guide the students will use through the lesson okay we will we will start by um, structuring the cover page of your lesson guide. If uh, this is the this is the title title yet, and uh, the the table of content, if you will just say like that as a structure. So I'll say since my lesson guide lesson structure is leap. Okay, I'll say lesson lesson guide I'll click I'll ask the students to click this first so my leap is uh, lean on e engage and explore a means assimilate and apply b perform and uh, produce and perform, sorry. Okay, so I have that. So I have actually, I created a title, cover, and then I'll create these pages in a while. Okay, so I have four pages, page one, page two, page three, four. So I'll create four pages, okay? Because there are four steps in the learning process. I'll click appearance. I'll create a menu. I'll explain this uh, later on. So I will be creating a display menu and a progress bar. I'll create a progress bar. Okay. So I'll take yes, yes there. Yes, yes in these two. And I'll go down. Okay. So once that's clicked, I'll create now the pages. I just have a cover here and then I'll create the pages so to click the pages I'll add a content page content page so I'll put my first page here in on okay and uh, I'll click L in on I'll write in this page my introduction later on my introduction, I'll write in this place my learning competency. Uh, I'll write in this page later on my enabling. Competency, I should say. I'll, I'll put here later on my per the performance tasks of the students. And I'll put probably my values formation section. I'll also put within this introduction here, uh, this is actually the introduction section, the intro part. Uh, and this is the introduction actually. I'll put my devotional here to start my class. Okay. So, like that. Now, I'll create now a progress bar. This is the first page, actually. So, if this is the first page, first page, okay? Then, I'll create at the bottom of the page a progress bar. That means I will move 
I'll engage the students to moving to the next page. So, I'll put next page. So, this will be the progress bar you can see at the bottom of the page later on. So, always go to the next page. Okay. So, I just created the first page, just the first structure of the page. I'll put the contents later on. Then, see, I have created the first page. I'll create another page, and that page will be the page for engage. So I'll add a content page. This will be the page for engage and explore. Page for engage and explore. So that's the page. Let's say engage and explore. Okay, I'll put in. So, the next for Engage and Explore, under Progress Bar, this is Assimilate Apply. So, this is the next page. I'll direct my students to go to the next page. It's just a Progress Bar. Okay, Save and Display. I'll create the third page. So, I already have created two pages. So, page one, page two. Uh, I'll, I'll go to creating this page, assimilate and, this, and apply. So I'll add a content page. So here I'll still be adding down below a content page. Add a content page. This page will be for assimilate and display. Oh no, assimilate and apply, sorry. So I'll say, uh, okay, the next, the next page is for, for produce and perform. So uh, this is still next page. So I will be creating the page after this. So I'll be creating this page after this because I just placed here a progress bar. Okay, so I'll go to the next page. Okay, so I've created already three pages and I'm left with one more page. So I'll add a content page, still a content page. I'll add a content page. Okay. So the content page will be the last one, which is Produce and perform. Okay, so this is P produce and perform. And this is already the last page, so I don't have a page next to this. So I will put an, uh, a note at the bottom of this page and of uh, yes, some. So that no more next page. Save and display. So I have already created four pages. Four pages. Okay. Four pages. So if you want to edit each of these pages, put the contents of each of these pages, you just have to go to this page to upgrade. Okay. So any of these pages you can go. I'll just show you, show to you that uh, through a preview, okay, where I'll preview these pages, <coughs> you will see that uh, there is already the lesson menu, okay? So, students can go to any of these pages. And then, just an example, lean on, okay? There is the progress bar at the bottom. So, if I click this, it will go to the next page, to the next page, okay? And then, I'll just edit this. How to edit? Go to this section here. Edit. And then you can edit the page. So you can transfer all the contents of each of these pages to this by clicking this. Just click. And then it will go to uh, that uh, editing, uh, that section where you can edit. You can place all the contents 
of your um, devotional you can just copy you can just type and then you can just type whatever all the contents of each of these levels and it will go to uh, you can edit it will be structure you so can you, you can you can you can now start editing each of the pages you can start editing by beautifying this putting it bold and then you can say i'll change the color yeah you can do i'll, I'll probably have a video how to beautify your content page so um, you can do that see so when you will you will uh, save this and preview preview uh, then you can you can see what you have done in each of the pages so lean on just say now if this appears sometimes see when you preview yeah you have created the pages now this is how you can since your your view is an a teacher's view you can edit i can switch my role here i switch my role just see switch the role i just click that i switch my role to a student's role so that i can see the student side how the students can sit behind your screen so if you okay this is how the student can see his side. No editing anymore, na? Okay. And prog lesson menu, you can go to the next page. If you don't like these sections to be viewed by the learner, you can edit this by just not displaying this on, on the front side. So you can edit this. By editing, so he she have changed your role, returning now to your original role. So um, you can uh, edit this by clicking editing settings and uh, just say probably that you don't like to display that. So just uh, do not display that in your screen. So. You can you can just say to limit that you can just say design just learning guide so save and display So I have um, now taught you how to structure this part, the pages, the pages of your paper, the pages of your uh, learning design. Take note that you'll be working with two of these. Uh, I find there. Uh, then you edit in this part. Edit, 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 edit. So when you complete your learning design, then the students can go through it successfully just by clicking later on i hope i have guided you as to how you can uh, develop this uh, learning design page and i hope this has helped you a bit thank you very much for listening